well at least another one's almost gone as you're watching this it's only a few hours to the end of 2023 as we're heading to 2024 so i thought i'd do a quick look back at things that have happened on my channel in 2023 and as far as events are concerned 14 events in total i traveled to uh, over the course of the year uh, some as far afield as santa pod in northamptonshire for the mopar nats at the end of july i was also at the motorist cafe in sherburn and elmet for some of their cars and coffee events uh, i was at tatton park um, for the stars and stripes event went down there with a couple of friends in their cars for the weekend and I also did a, a few local uh, localised events around, around where I live. Also, cars and coffee up here that uh, that I run on a Wednesday night at Millie's American Diner. Uh, that's still going, still going strong. I was there every Wednesday night. In fact, it's still on. It's uh, it's on year round. So no matter how cold it is or how hot it is or how many cars are turning up, we're all there still enjoying ourselves on a Wednesday night. So if you haven't been yet, Bedlington, Barrington Road and um, Millie's Diner, Millie's American Diner is the one you're looking for. Postcode for that's November Echo 227 Alpha Hotel, and that'll take you direct to the diner every Wednesday night, five o'clock onwards. If you're looking for somewhere to, uh, to go locally and you live in the area, get yourselves down there. Um, the more as the more summer we're getting to, as the weather heats up and the nights get lighter and a lot warmer, the better the quality of cars that turn out. But we do get some amazing cars there. Anyway, enough of the blatant plug on the channel. What else did I get through? Uh, what else did I get up to? in 2023 well if you're new here um you may not have seen all of the videos but there was a selection of shorts i put out i think there was one long form video and the rest were shorts all about the youtube high five club that was going on there was a small select group of people apparently that youtube picked based on how many likes and how many comments their videos were getting and how well received their videos were in general and they were sending out gifts uh free gifts the, the ones that I got, there was, uh, I think I got two free sausage rolls and, uh, and two cups of coffee. And then towards the end of it, for the last round of the YouTube High Five, uh, I was actually sent a, um, a YouTube play button, but it's not one of the fantastic silver play buttons that everybody wants. This was just a red plastic brick uh, play button, which there is a, a video the video for it, obviously still on the channel, uh, but that was sent. I put that together myself, so I was really pleased to get that from YouTube, along with all the other creators out there. They got uh, they got similar things, and uh, as well as the opportunity to go down to London, and uh, and see the YouTube area, the a lot of other YouTube creators as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it down there this time round. So fingers crossed, they'll do it again, and I'm lucky enough to get picked next time. I'll make sure I'm uh, I make the time to get down to London to meet up with a whole load of other creators next time round. And then of course, there's the highlights of the air for me personally. Well, one of the one of the best highlights was uh, one of my cars, my '68 Charger. That was actually uh, in a rock video uh, for the Wild Thorn rock band. The song was Hurricane Queen. There's a video on my channel with regards to a little bit of the behind the scenes filming as to what went on while we creating the video for the, uh, for the song. And also, obviously, if you go to Wild Thorn Band UK, I think it is, on YouTube, um, if that's not correct, I'll, I'll put the right one across the bottom here, the, the name for their channel. But I'm fairly certain it's Wildthorn Band UK. If you go there and look through the videos for Hurricane Queen, you'll be able to see my Dodge Charger uh, in action in the video as it was uh, as it was filmed. So that was a particularly good highlight for the year. And then, of course, earlier on in the year, I think it was around about May time in May, I bought this. My 1975 Ford Cortina Big Six, powered by an Essex V6. Originally a South African car, imported over here, and I bought it. And it's also fantastic. And then in November, I bought this, my 1995 Ford Mondeo. It's a two-litre gear on an M-Reg. But what about the things that didn't go according to plan? Because obviously, there's always something that doesn't go according to plan. There's always something that fails. Well, the main one for me this year was my garage roof. Now, my garage roof was damaged by storms a couple of years ago. Uh, the claim on the insurance company, or the claim with the insurance company to have the roof repaired or replaced was actually declined by the insurance company. It's very helpful, as always. So I was left in the position where I need to fix the roof myself or replace the roof myself. So I've taken the option to actually replace the roof. Got no idea what I'm doing, but it seems to be working well. And I was hoping to have it finished for this time of year when the weather's as bad as it is outside if you can hear it's still raining slightly heavier now uh, unfortunately 
the first feel of the air was with the garage roof. It is half done, so the back half of the garage roof is done. Once the weather clears up a little bit, if it ever actually stops raining or being so windy that you kind of get onto a garage roof with a big sheet of steel or a big sheet of tin in your hands, I intend to get that finished. I need to move some stuff around in the garage and get access to the front half of the roof and we'll get that done. So hopefully early in 2024, we'll get on with the roof of the garage and we'll get that finished so I can protect everything that's in there and start getting cars in there to work on. And of course, the other big fail of the year for me was the Mustang. Now, as you all know, it's not strictly speaking, it's not my Mustang. It belongs to a friend of mine. But uh, she doesn't have anywhere to park two cars because she has another car as well. Uh, so it spends a lot of its time here. And obviously we'll try and get the thing up and running. It did come round to a time with tea time. Unfortunately, the ABS light was on. was thinking it might be a sensor uh, and it was going to be an easy fix. But when we took it in to get it looked at, it actually wasn't a sensor. It's the ABS pump itself that's at fault on that one. So uh, I actually bought an ABS pump for it. But of course, unbeknown to me, there's two different types of ABS pumps. For 1996 Mustang, so the one that I bought, yeah, you've guessed it, it was the wrong pump. And as they're obsolete and they're not made by Ford anymore, the search was on to try and find one. Luckily, I have a friend down south who uh, has some contacts in the states. He managed to find me the correct uh, the correct ABS pump, and uh, we ordered that. We've now got that, and very shortly after New Year, the Mustang's in for a MOT. So hopefully, that's going to cure the problem. Get the light turned out and uh, we'll be able to get the Mustang back on the road. But that was the two big fails of the year for me this time round, unfortunately, was not finishing the garage roof and not being able to have the Mustang on the road at a time when it really should be on the road. And of course, there's a whole load of videos on the channel with work done on the cars, uh, some shorts that I put out. Um, it's, there's a lot of stuff on there. So we did get through a whole load of stuff. Had some great fun, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been a brilliant, a brilliant year. And hopefully 2024 is going to be just as good, if not better. And speaking of 2024, what am I going to be doing next year? Well, as I've already briefly mentioned, the first priority, get the garage roof done and get the Mustang back on the road. After that, though, uh, the events this year I want to get to, I want to try and go to some different events this year, maybe further afield, so I can travel a bit further away from home than I normally do, purely for, uh, for a bit of variety, try some places I've never been to, try some shows that I've never been to, and maybe even one or two uh, events that I've never heard of before, just to put a bit more variety into things. And of course, with the cars I've got at the minute, for 2024, what I'd like to do, I want to get the Cortina up and running properly. Uh, I want to have uh, I want to be able to have some fun with that and enjoy that and take that out of a few events, maybe I'll catch up on a bit of body work that it needs and, uh, and one or two improvements on it. The Mondeo that we're currently sitting in, I want to give that a good look over and see exactly what is wrong with it, what isn't wrong with it, and see if there's anything we need to do there, or can we just put it straight in the service like we have done and keep using it as a daily driver because there's actually nothing needs doing to it. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I guarantee there's going to be something that needs doing to it. You just know there's going to be something that needs doing to it. And then, of course, behind me, which you'll not be able to see because the windows are misting up, they're raining outside, the Toyota Hilux Surf. Now, I did put a community post out saying, does anybody want to see us try and get that, revive that, get it running and get it on the road again? There was a lot of people like that one. So there's a video in the making. That will be coming. I'm going to try and get the Hilux back on the road again. It does need an MOT and it does need work from the MOT, but we'll get into that one in a future video when we we'll start messing around with that. You never know, we might even get through some green laning with it. Anyway, the next one is the charger. Now, obviously, the charger still needs work on the roof, but I don't want to do that when it's sitting outside. I want it in the garage so I can take the vinyl roof off where it was damaged by the storm. And uh, hopefully, the metal part of the roof underneath that is going to be okay and it's going to be serviceable. But we need to have a look at that. There's a little bit of body work that needs doing the charger now as well. So we'll get into that. And I, I may investigate the steering because I did change the steering a while back and uh, I've, I'm not comfortable with it, but more of that in a future video, obviously, when we get that in the garage and we'll start working on that one. And the last car that needs anything doing to it at the moment, obviously, is my uh, my 75 Ranchero. Now, it's running great. It's still running great. Uh, I don't like the wheels on it. Never liked the wheels on it. So it needs better wheels. I have got some, as you've seen in one of the shorts, if you watch that. They need tyres as well. So I'll get the wheels cleaned up, get the tyres on them, get those on the truck, and then there's one or two other things I want to do to it as well, which will be over the course of a build series video I'll do on that. And of course, um, with regards to the Mondeo, again, that's going to come on as uh, a daily driver. What's it like living with an old car? In fact, what's it like living with any of these cars on a daily basis if you can use them, at, uh, if you're trying to use them at all times of year? Well, that's about it for uh, for my update. In case you're new here and you haven't seen any of the playlists or videos 
or anything else we've done. And what I'll do is I'll put links in the description down below to uh, all the video playlists of everything I've done over the course of the year, like the roof on the garage, work on the on the charge and the ranchero, etc. In the meantime, go and have a few more drinks. You deserve to have a few more drinks. It is New Year's Eve after all. I hope, I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and hope you have an even better New Year. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video in 2024. Bye for now.